Wolf is another guy that was put together. All the guys, you know, the first yeah. Bulldogs, and, you know, all these guys were put together back then. But even if they, they weren't, were, they were if they freaks. weren't ripped, they were still six foot three, six foot four, you know, or, or taller. Like, and even the guys that weren't looking like Ford Wolf, like the one man gang, the band band they yeah, the were monsters. Is, you know, them guys, I enjoyed all that. that that's why it pissed me off when they with Brodus Clay is that they had this monster. I mean, Brodus yeah, Clay is a monster. The guy. And they just totally misused him. I mean, he could have been the next, he could have been the next Earthquake or the next uh, One Man Gang or any one of those those very mobile monsters and, and just okay. ran with him. Look what they do to the big show. The guy loses to women, people yeah. missing body parts, midgets, lightweight boxes. That guy should never lose. The guy, he has no credibility. He should never, ever lose to anybody. Anybody. Except maybe Brock Lesnar. Losing is one thing, but the people he's losing to is yeah. embarrassing. I mean, I mean, Daniel Bryan had gave him a flying knee the other day, uh, and he literally had to jump halfway across the ring just to reach his chin. That's stupid. Did, did Hornswoggle ever beat him? <laughs> no, I don't think Hornswoggle ever. I don't know. Maybe El Torito. I have no idea. I mean, come on. Ray Mysterio <laughs> beating him. Zach, Zach Gowan, a guy with one leg, is beating the big show. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's, it's, it's that's what I'm saying. This is stuff, and it's not like I said. It's not only guys like Snook and Vocal still wrestling that's embarrassing. It's the stuff that the top company in the world is doing that's embarrassing. And, and it's sad. It's it's a little bit on the sad side because you have someone like the Big Show at such a young age uh, beat Hogan for for the world title, and <clears throat> and then for him to progress, you know, 20 years later, and he's just he's a glorified jobber, and so is Kane. Kane's another glorified job. Seven foot, three hundred pounds, and the man is still in phenomenal shape, and he jobs to everybody. But the thing with Kane is he's been around for so long. He's like, stale. What else you gonna do with him? It, it's it, he can't change his gimmick now. He's stale. He's mask on or mask off. I mean, there's one or the other. He either either has long hair or miraculously has no hair. But I mean, it's the thing is, is that the guy. I mean, you think about it. He's only two years younger than the Undertaker, and look at the two different. Two different bodies. Undertaker's broken down, fights maybe once a year, and then you have... That's all he does, fight is once a yeah. year. And then you got Kane, who is still in... The guy still has a six-pack, and he's 300 pounds and seven feet tall. I, I, I want to ask you a opinion on this. What's the sense, and I know he still has the drawing power, and what's the sense of having the Undertaker wrestle ever again on WrestleMania? Because if he loses, now he's 21 and 2. Yeah. And if he wins, now he's was he 22 and 1. It's like, yeah. who gives a shit now? You know what I mean? I really You're think taking a spot away from a younger guy. I really think that they feel that if he fights Bray Wyatt and he puts Bray Wyatt over, that it's really, really going to boost Bray Wyatt's career. Like I guess I mean Wyatt's doing pretty good though on his own. You know? He is, but again, he's gotten to the point now they don't know what to do with him. Yeah, but if he beats the Undertaker, he didn't end the streak. So no, but he could be you know yeah. he could be that next dark character that kind of that. Goes on a uh, not like not a WrestleMania streak, but kind of goes on like an Undertaker type legacy, you know the the, you know, e the eater they of souls. Should have kept him with the other two guys, and if they weren't going to keep him with the other two guys, they should at least let them other two guys as a tag team because you had no other tag teams looking like them. So what do you do? Uh, let's yep. just split them up. We have enough tag teams that look like that. Yeah, no, you're right there because they were, they were a tag team that who's beating those guys? <laughs> exactly, and it was something different. Eh, we don't need it. <laughs> we don't. We don't need. We don't need good tag teams. Let's break up the shield. We, we, we'll, we'll sell some sheep masks <laughs> or goat masks, whatever that guy wears. <laughs> if, you, if you ask JBL, I think he called it a llama this week. <laughs> I mean, it's, you know, it, I, I don't. You know, it, it's going to be tough because, like, anybody that Undertaker comes back, they, they're going to have to carry him, and you you have to find that right guy. You know, CM Punk did it. Um, I think Daniel Bryant can do it. Uh, Cena can't. Um, Brock Lesnar did it last year. And uh, you know, wait, wait, I, why can't Cena carry him? I don't think Cena has the capability of making somebody like the Undertaker look good. I think Cena will make you don't him think look so? bad. No, I, I just I don't. You don't think, think the guy, the guy that only that's been on top longer than anybody but Hogan and, and, and has has had a lot of good matches. Is capable of counting Undertaker? I'm not a Cena fan, but I mean, come on. I, I the just guy, don't. I, I the guy's a workhorse. 
I just don't. I mean, he, he'll make himself look good. I, I just don't think he's got the capability of of making someone someone look. Good. I mean, maybe a smaller guy. I just don't see, you know, an Undertaker, a guy that's... Well, how, how can any of these guys make people look good? Their matches are scripted in the back now. It's not like they're going out there and calling it in the ring. Especially yeah. at WrestleMania. In fact, I always thought Cena was the guy that was going to beat Taker in the industry. I really did, and I was kind of surprised last year. Well, when you, had to, see, point, when you had to see a punk match, you saw that see, Undertaker was slow. He, he was not did not do well in that match. But CM Punk, he, just by his... His body, his his facial expressions, his his body demeanor, and uh, his movement in the ring, it just made the Undertaker look a little bit quicker, um, a little bit more believable. And you know, Brock Lesnar is a totally different animal because he's he's a he's a monster. I mean, he just he picks guys up like they're you know a bag of leaves. So I mean, it's I just can't I, I just I don't know. It's just with Cena, I, and I lo- look, I'm not a Cena fan wrestling wise. I love, I love John Cena the person and what he does for the company and what he brings, and all the charity work he does and what he stands for. Um, re- wrestling, he's a little bit boring, you know. I, you know, I'm not gonna sit here and say you know all the five moves of death and blah blah. I, I personally think I know it's never gonna happen because he's so big with charity. If John John Cena needs to make that heel turn, he needs to do the Hulk Hogan, NWO. He'll turn, and I think Cena could wrestle another ten years at the top of the company as a heel. If they turn him heel, up, the fans will start cheering him. It's not going to happen though, because how are you going to have your your one of your top heels be your top contributor to Make a Wish? <laughs> because everybody knows that then they get somebody else to do it. You find another face to do it. You know? I don't know. It's it's tough. And, and think about it, because why it's done some Make a Wish uh, appearances or whatever you call them? Yeah. Perhaps. I mean, Cena's he's like a, a Cena deal. set records and stuff. Like he's like the, he's he's done like more Make a Wishes in a year than some wrestlers have done in like their career. I mean, it, right, right. He, he does unbelievable. I mean, you can't take anything away from the guy what he does. Uh, but you know, and the fact that the guy heal he heals faster than uh, than anybody I've ever seen in my life. It's, uh, he he, he <laughs> does some pretty good medicine. Yeah, he don't he don't miss much. Uh, he must have go to Bartolo Colon's doctor. And so uh, I, I just don't. He doesn't miss much. I mean, he you know misses a couple. He'll say he's out six months, and boom, three months later he's back. So I I, I can't again. I can't. Yeah, take, I, I didn't notice that sometimes. I, I can't take it away from him there. I mean, just I just don't think he's capable of. Uh, you know, if it was a smaller, if it was somebody like Randy Orton, like if Randy Orton was like old and broken down, like I could see him carrying Randy Orton. But like being an Undertaker is nearly seven feet tall. He's almost three hundred pounds. I just, I just can't see it. I, I can't see John Cena making the Undertaker look quicker and better on his feet, and and I just, I can't. I don't know. I don't know. I'm. I, I don't think it's ever gonna have. We're ever gonna have to worry about it because I don't think Cena and Undertaker are ever gonna be in a ring together again. Probably not. I, I, there's not really much on this WrestleMania show that I'm looking forward to. Yeah, I mean, the, the, we have the women's the women's match is pretty much who cares. Um, you know, they they changed they they ruined Paige's career by that by putting her on that diva show. Yeah, again, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, they they everybody's on that damn show. I mean, every diva's on that damn show. So I mean. She now instead of being that like crazy goth chick, now they got her playing like this. She's still goth, but she's like a she's a prankster. She play she plays jokes and pranks pranks on the other girls. Oh, so yeah. I see. <laughs> so, uh, oh well, poor Paige. <laughs> uh, you, you would figure something by by now hanging out with the Bellas, and she get a suntan by now. But I guess not. <laughs> uh, that's on Sunday night. That's on tonight, right, Little Divas? I uh, think so. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, I watch uh, Walking Dead on, on Sunday night. Sorry, I don't, I don't, I don't really watch anything. Sundays is my boring day. But Joe, well, football, let, football's over, so you know we're, we're gonna let you go, Joe. Uh, I'm gonna play one of my interviews and call it a night. But uh, I would oh, definitely thanks for having me on. I hope I uh, I hope I entertained you tonight. I'm sure there's a lot of people listening tonight 
that normally don't listen, like that faggot wing tag. <laughs> Had to get that in one more time. <laughs> and if, yeah, like I said, if he wants to talk shit, he knows where I am. Don't block me, bitch. Come down and fucking say it to my face. Don't be a fucking there internet talk guy. There you go. Fun station, Staten Island, New York. That's right. <laughs> Google it. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good one. All right, man. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. That was Joe Bellini, ladies and gentlemen, the uh, president and head promoter of Warriors of Wrestling based out of Staten Island, New York. Uh, always always a fun time to talk to him. Great show. Absolutely great show. March 7th. Do not miss it. You do not want to miss it. you got Valkyries Valhalla taking place at Fun Station 3555 Victory Boulevard in Staten Island, New York. Fun Station, USA. That, ma- that, that bout and uh, card which features... The champ, the queen of Valkyrie, Casey Carlisle, will defend against Bone Sword Jesse Brooks. And then, uh, as you heard later that night, Warriors of Wrestling uh, will see Team Torment defend the title against Jason Karloff. So you got awesome, awesome wrestling going on that night. Earlier that day, uh, like I said, we got um, we got Angel Orsini, one of the ECW originals. And Nyla Rose joining us at the big event. But uh, let's take a commercial break. Friday, April 17th, 2015. Join CTW Charity Wrestling as they present Fight Cystic Fibrosis live from the Days Inn Bridgewater on Route 22 East in Bridgewater, New Jersey. 100% of the proceeds from this event will go directly to the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation as we help find a cure for cystic fibrosis. See WWE Hall of Famers Tito Santana and Superfly Jimmy Snuka, as well as former ECW champion Rhino, the Bad Boy, Joey Janela, Too Hot Steve Scott, the Garden State Gods, Steve Monster Mac, and the Return of Arcadia. Tickets are available by visiting charitywrestling.com. That's charitywrestling.com. Join us Friday, April 17th at the Days Inn in Bridgewater, New Jersey for CTW Charity Wrestling Fight Cystic Fibrosis. The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. You think you know me? Hey guys, do you like pro wrestling? Of course you do. It's the greatest thing in the world. Hi, my name is Emil J. You may have seen me as the ring announcer for Combat Zone Wrestling, On Point Wrestling, Dojo Wars, and WSU, just to name a few. But now I'm proud to announce that the Funkenstein Wrestling Superstore is the premier location for wrestling merchandise. Every Saturday and Sunday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. in Englishtown, New Jersey at the Englishtown Flea Market, booth number 35 in the Green Building, the Funkenstein Wrestling Superstore has it all. Everything from DVDs and figures from around the world to t-shirts and lucha masks in both kids and adult sizes, and much more, even tickets to upcoming events. Log on to Facebook.com slash Funkenstein INC for full details on everything they have to offer, including weekly specials and where they'll be vending at this weekend. So check out Facebook.com slash Funkenstein INC and take the short drive to Englishtown, New Jersey and visit my friends at the Funkenstein Wrestling Superstore this weekend to start or add to your wrestling collection. And hey... Tell them Emil J sent you. The Funkenstein Wrestling Superstore. The main event of wrestling collectibles. The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. You're listening to Damage 365 Radio, and this is ECW Original, the Angry Amish Warrior Roadkill. I 
at this time, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great and absolute pleasure and an honor to 